All right, so welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and this is my channel, Imagine Jasmine. So, um, if the camera quality is different, I had I have been forced to buy a new phone. Um, it was one of those things where my screen pretty much shattered and the cost of the glass to replace it just is stupid, especially since the phone is so old. So I had to break down, buy a new phone. So hopefully the quality is a lot better. It should be. I'm still learning my phone. So yeah. So um, I'm going to try to make this video quick. Um, this video is going to contain, um, Lord, I can't talk today. <laughs> this video is going to contain my Shop My Stash Spring Edition, okay? I plan on filming my empties for the winter. I feel like I did fall already. This will be my, I'll be filming my winter em empties around the first day of spring. So that's like within the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. Um, so right here, I have a basket of items that I have pretty much shopped my stash that I want to use up for this spring. And if I feel the need to roll it over into summer, that's fine. Um, I don't want to necessarily call it a project use it up because project use it up just don't work well for me. I like to use what I want to use. Um, as of lately, that's been working for me is I have like my own tray on my dresser that has like my perfume oils, um, like medications and like miscellaneous stuff. Right. And I have and I'll put a few cents of bath and body work stuff that I want to work towards. And I usually like um three sets of something and it seems to be working very well for me like when y'all see my my empties y'all gonna be like wow she really didn't put in some work for the winter time but anyways I'm rambling so everything I want to use up for the spring is in this basket um so I'm just gonna share it with you guys so first things first I want to use up this body prescriptions Somebody loves you, sweet rose body butter. I absolutely hate this body butter. Um, oh, is it going to focus? Is it going? Okay, there we go. It's not that much left in there. It's probably about less than halfway full. It smells really nice. It's just I feel like you gotta use the force of God to rub it into your skin. And I don't feel that it's like extremely moisturizing. And this expires. Um, in October. So I want to get this done. I'm over it. I'm tired of it. I want to get this done. So, but I'm going to be using this body butter to pair with a lot of my fragrance, my floral fragrance mist that don't have a matching lotion to it. So I want to get that done. Um, let's see. I want to, let me pull out things that don't have a set. So I want to finish up or at least get some usage on this Victoria's Secret Fleur Elixir. Set no Scarlet Rose, Pink Pepper, Budding Romance. I love this scent. It's very perfumey. It's not granny-like at all. But I love this. I want to get some usage out of that. Next, we have this Bodycology Peony Blush. This smells so good. This reminds me of my all-time favorite scent by Bath & Body Works. It's Perfect Peony. Bath & Body Works. If y'all watching, please bring Perfect Peony back. Like, please. I'm trying to tell you, I'll buy multiple sets. But this is like the closest thing to it. So I do want to get some usage out of that. Um... I've had this during the fall and winter, the Victoria's Secret Petal High. It smells good. It's not my favorite. It's, it's pretty. It's marshmallow flower, elderberry nectar, dancing with the breeze. These scent notes are weird. But it's real pretty. I do like it. I wouldn't, I'm glad I just have one just to enjoy it, you know. Anywho. Now on to... The thing, okay, let me see what else I want to use up. All right, 
I want to use up this triple berry martini lotion. Um, a lot of these items I want to finish that are from 2021 and 2022. Um, this is from 2021. I don't have that much left. It's just, it's stupid to hold on to this. It's not my favorite, but I'm going to use it. Pomegranate juice, black raspberry liqueur, strawberry sugar. I want to use this up. So, y'all. Yeah. All right. Now, I want to finish up or get some usage out of this Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. The mini is, sorry y'all. Mini is halfway full. The lotion has a small dent in it. Um, I do see myself rolling this over into the summer. So yes, I want to get some usage out of that. We have Bath and Body Works Blackberry Basil Scent Notes, Fresh Blackberry Pink Pomelo Sweet Basil Jasmine Petals, and I'm going to pair it with this Autumn Violets, which is Violet Petals, Wild Fig, and Velvet Vines. Want to get some usage out of this. I really want to finish this because it's from 2021. This is from 2022, but I really just want this lotion going. Um, it's cool. It smells okay. It's just not my favorite. Um... It's a one and done for me. All right. Um, want to finish this rose, fine fragrance mist, airy rose water, jasmine petals, creamy musk. And of course, I'm going to pair it with the body butter that I'm trying to use up. Um, fresh cut lilacs. If you haven't noticed, most of this, these products are like pink and purple, which is like really nice for spring because of the flowers. Anywho, this is brand spanking new, lotion unopened, scent notes, lilac bouquets, dewy green, soft spring air. I love fresh cut lilacs. It's one of my favorite florals. It's either a love or hate for some people, but this, I love it in body care. I love it in home fragrance. I love it in candle form, like Love Fresh Cut Lilacs. It's a banger. It's a powerhouse. You don't even need to pair it with anything else because it's strong. Um, but I love it and I get a lot of compliments when I wear it. Next is Confetti Daydream. Set notes, Fresh Raspberry, Sparkling Pear, Blue Iris. This is a pretty fragrance. Is it my favorite? No, for right now, I've never used this. It's still brand spanking new, never been used. Um, Just want to try and use this up. This is from 2021 as well, so. Um, yeah. Next, I want to finish up Butterfly. Scent notes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. This smells very similar to um, Confetti Daydream. I think the only difference is, let me double check. I think that Confetti Daydream has a pear note. Yep, it has a pear note where this one has that vanilla in it. So I want to get this used up. This is also from, okay, no, this is from 2022. So I want to get this done. Very pretty. Can't wait to use that up. Um, what else? Sweet pea. This is a classic. Um, I don't. I want to get sweet pea used up. Um, or I get a dent in it. I bought this during um this past year's body care sale, and it's really pretty. Like. It's an old fragrance. It's one of their core fragrances. But it's nice. Like, it's pretty. Um, scent notes. Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, Sheer Freesia, Luscious Raspberry, Soft Musk. Love Sweet Pea. So, I can't wait to use that up. Um, 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 um. Next, we have Hello Beautiful. Scent notes. Wild Gardenia, Jasmine Petals, Magnolia Blossom, Pink Nectarine, Cotton Musk. This is also really pretty floral. It's very clean with that cotton um, 
scent note in there. So this is really pretty. Can't wait to use that up. I want to use this up. This is Magnolia Charm. Scent Nose Dewy Pear Blossom Blooming Magnolia Fresh Cedar. This is a very pretty fragrance. Um, it caught me by surprise. Um, if they brought this back out again, I don't think I would purchase it. I think it's a one and done for me. Unless like when I use up this set, I, I'm craving it. And if they bring it back out again, I will purchase it. But it's a one and done for me. Um, I'm a mom. I want to get some usage out of Pink Vanilla Wish. This is a very pretty fragrance. Um, it has sparkling pink peonies, warm vanilla, and almond. Love this. Um, I've never used this scent before, but when I smelled it, I instantly fell in love. It's really nice. Um, so I want to get some usage out of this or even finish it up. Either or. Um, we have Mahogany Coconut. I've had this since last summer's Project Use It Up that I attempted to do. And it just, it did not work out. But this is, I love this fragrance. Even though it's from the men's, is it men's collection? Um, I feel like it's unisex, but I love it. Um, creamy, woodsy fragrance inspired by classic mahogany with a tropical twist. Love. Um, I also have a backup set of this, so I definitely want to get this set done, um, this year. Let's see. Next we have Bath and Bite. Y'all, I can't talk. Bath and Body Works, one in a million. This is from 2022. Um, this came out during summer semi-annual sale 2022. Um, fragrance notes are jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, cashmere, musk. Very pretty scent. Super floral, y'all. I love florals. Everything that I'm pretty much mentioning, if you do not like florals, these are not going to be for you. But I absolutely love florals. Um, it's all in how you layer it. I even feel like this would probably go well with the um, Fleur Elixir. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like it'd be super strong. But anywho, one in a million. Again, I'm trying to get these body creams out of my collection. Um, Because they go bad fast. So, and I don't have that many, actually, which is great because I ain't got time to, for my stuff to be going bad. Next, I've definitely got to use this. This is Gingham Vibrant. Scent notes, wild blackberries, candy violet, soft vanilla. Love Gingham Vibrant. I can't believe they didn't keep this. I feel like this smells better than the Gingham Fresh and the Gingham Gorgeous. I wanted to like the Gingham Gorgeous, but something about that peach note in it just was not sitting well with my spirit. Um, so I just, and I, I keep smelling it and smelling it and smelling it to see if I'll like it. And I don't like it. I don't like it, but Gingham Vibrant is really good. I want to get some usage out of it. Even though it's from 2023, y'all, it is yellow. You see that? Yellow. And I have a backup cream of this too. So, um, but it still smells fine. If those who don't know, anything that has vanilla in it from Bath and Body Works, they tend to have a yellow undertone. So, yeah, I want to get that used up. Um, and then this body cream is from the men's collection. This is from summer semi-annual sale in 2022. Um, I paired this a lot with my Chanel Chance, um, the green one, but I used up the perfume. So I'm trying to use this up. It's still white, still good. Um, if I don't finish it, I'm not pressed about it. Um, but I do want to get some 
usage out of this. And we have Sunset Glow. I I love Sunset Glow. I have mm, I have two lotions and a spray. So I typically just use the lotion and I'll pair it with the Charosa 62. And I got another set of just this with the spray. So I use Charosa 62 with this again. It smells so good. Love it. What did I say? Sunset Glow? Yes. Fragrance notes, fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. Love Sunset Glow. Sunset Glow is like a love or hate for some people. I don't know if I mentioned that other body cream. I forgot. Hold on if I can find it. Okay. The Island One scent notes are sparkling yozu, green jasmine, so solar driftwood. Literally, if you look at the Chanel Chance um, perfume, I will insert a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I can't pronounce it, but I absolutely love that perfume. I do want to get that back in my collection at some point, but being more cognizant of what I'm buying right now at this stage of my life because y'all, like, listen, why is life so expensive? So, yeah. These are the items that I picked up in my stash that I want to use this spring. Um, Y'all, like with my winter stuff, my goal is to finish 10 fine fragrance mists and at least 8 lotions slash body creams. And I'm like on my way to that. Like I think so far in my winter stuff, I think I finished seven fine fragrance mists, which is not bad, but my goal is 10 and I don't think I'm going to reach that goal. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy to see these things go so I can make room for other things. And on top of that too, like I haven't really been shopping like that. One, funds. Two, the way Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secrets be rolling out fragrances, like, who got money to be buying everything that they put out, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, like, I'll check it out, and if I like it, like, I'll purchase it, especially if it's a good sale. But I'm being cautious of what I'm buying because I don't want to have a lot. Like, I'm trying to keep things on my roller cart. I don't want it to spill out um, past that. Um, as far as, like, the new stuff that's coming out, I'm waiting until semi-annual sale to buy some of those things. That's if I like it. Um, so I haven't really been checking out a lot of the newer scents that they have come out because I just want to wait until, um, like I said, summer semi-annual sale and really take a look of what I've used and just be cautious of what I'm bringing in and what's going out. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I thank all of my, my little bit of subscribers for, you know, sticking in with me. Um, again, life has been lifing, but, you know, creating this kind of content is like a way for me to step away from my reality just for a little bit. And um, I love fragrance. I feel like things, things in general, I'm talking like clothes, shoes, purses like those type of things don't really bring me joy like they used to maybe because you know being a first time mom my body isn't like all the way there but that's a whole nother talk but anywho comment down below tell me what your goals are for this spring in regards to your body care collection that's if you have a collection share down below like as far as like finances or um the way you're buying things or the way you're shopping. Are you shopping smarter now instead of, you know, impulsively buying? Comment down below. I would love to chit chat. Um, thank you for watching and be blessed.